Greetings folks, I've had quite a few questions recently from people who bought the Walksnail Goggles L and a video transmitter and they can't link them together. Now, what you need to do is read the manual. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. No, I'm joking. Let's go through the procedure to link them together, upgrade the firmware. The biggest problem usually is going to be that the firmware on the video transmitter is not as new as the firmware on the goggles. The goggles are quite recent, the video transmitters have been around for a while. So let's go to the Cadex support page. To get the latest firmware files, we need to go to the Cadex website, cadexfpv.com, go to the support page and the download center. And here we have uh, all the manuals and instructions about how to upload the firmware and the firmware itself. So I'd recommend downloading the Goggles L manual and the quick start guide or the manual for your particular video transmitter like the V2, the Avatar kit, the GT kit, uh, whatever you need. And we need to download the latest firmware. This is the 38.43.8, just the latest at the moment. This is a big file. It's almost half a gig worth of firmware. Uh, it includes lots of different firmwares. So uh, you just need to download the whole folder. And we also have, there's the gimbal firmware there, uh, but that requires uh, a PC only EXE file to uh, upload the, uh, the gimbal firmware. So being on a Mac, I can't do that myself. Uh, and we also have uh, a few more documents down here, the FCC unlock procedure. This increases the number of channels on your goggles from four to eight channels and also unlocks the maximum power of your video transmitter as well. So here's the firmware folder that we downloaded. You can see it's uh, over 400 megabytes. If we open that folder, you can see it has, uh, yeah, lots of different versions of firmware, the Avatar Ground, Avatar Sky, Avatar Light Ground, Avatar Mini Ground, etc. So which firmware do we need for which device? Well, this little JPEG down here will show us. So you can see the Avatar goggles use the Avatar ground. Goggles L use the Avatar light ground. And the other video transmitters use the Avatar sky. Now we'll have a look at the goggles L manual. And what we need to know is uh, there's the little linking button here, the number two. Number two is the link button. And it tells you what to do here. Short press to enter the linking state, long press for eight seconds to enter the upgrade state. So if we're trying to link the video transmitter to the goggles, it's a short press. If we're trying to upgrade the firmware on the goggles, it's a press for eight seconds. Here's all the information we need for linking an upgrade. So to connect the video transmitter and the goggles, you need to power up both of them, the video transmitter and the goggles. Push the link button on the video transmitter and the goggles. The video transmitter light will turn red and the goggles make, will make a dick 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 sound. Uh, and then you just let them sit and they should link in a little bit of time. Uh, after the link's successful, the indicator light on the VTX turns green, beeping sound on the goggles stop and the screen is displayed. Now, what a lot of people are finding is that uh, they do all of this procedure and they just don't link. So that means we need to upgrade the firmware, most likely on the video transmitter. So let's have a look at the video transmitter manual. We've got the V2 dual kit here. That'll do us. Scroll down, shows the connections and everything. There's the link button here. Again, it shows you the linking procedure. And this is the procedure for loading the new firmware onto the video transmitter. So Avatar Sky firmware, you need to plug the video transmitter into your computer via USB and copy that firmware file onto the internal storage of the video transmitter. On a video transmitter that has an SD card, you can pull the SD card out and uh, do it in a SD card reader. Copy the upgrade file into the root directory or just onto the SD card basically, don't put it in a folder. And then you press and hold the video transmitter linking button for eight seconds and just let it do its job. It takes a few minutes to uh, upgrade the firmware and you need a fully charged battery. You don't want the battery to run out halfway through. And you probably need a little bit of a, a cooling fan over the video transmitter as well, because it's uh, sitting there heating up while all of this is going on. Once you have matching firmware on the video transmitter and the goggles, uh, the linking process should just work. Now the FCC unlock procedure, let's have a look at that. If you open up the, FC, the downloaded folder, you get two little text files and they just have a, a simple number on there that the 
goggles can read or the video transmitter can read and it makes the changes, the FCC changes. And we get a set of instructions here as well. Now to show that in real life, I'll power up the video transmitter first. Wait till we get a green flashing light. And push the linking button, it'll turn red. Now power up the goggles. Have to wait till they fully power up. Powered up now when we push the linking button. There we go, that's linked, that's turned green and the beeping is stopped, so that is successfully linked. So the sequence has to be power up the video transmitter, get it into linking mode, then power up the goggles and get that into linking mode. Now to upgrade the firmware, I'm not going to do it because I already have the correct firmware, but you would take the SD card out and copy the firmware file onto the SD card, pop it back in, power up your goggles, wait till it's fully powered up, push the button for eight seconds and then it will go through the firmware update procedure and it does take quite a few minutes so you just have to be patient until it reboots itself. And the same with the video transmitter. With the GT kit you can pull the SD card out, put the firmware file on the SD card uh, with the other video transmitters. They provide a little USB cable there, so you would plug in the USB cable, plug it into your computer, power up the video transmitter, copy the firmware file onto the internal storage, disconnect it from your computer, push the linking button for eight seconds, and then it will upgrade the firmware. And as I said, it's a good idea to have it cooled in some way and uh, connected to a, a fully charged battery. So there you go, that should solve any linking and upgrade problems with the Cadix Walksnail L goggles and uh, the video transmitters. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.